Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a very, very interesting topic and it's losing a lot of money from investing in cards. Um, you were told, I was told, I thought it was an investment. I thought you could buy these boxes and, you know, even single cards. I mean, you can go down the list, right? Reserve list cards uh, as a investment opportunity to also enjoy your hobby. But again, you have no idea what Wizard of the Coast can do. Uh, you don't know if they're going to partner with Amazon and they're going to dump. Um, another good example is MetaZoo and the Card Shop Live, which used to be Channel Fireball. The dumps have been very, very negative on the on that particular hot, and you have no control over it. You cannot stop it, even if you wanted to. If Card Shop Live decides to sell it for twenty dollars a box, thirty dollars a box, forty dollars a box, there's nothing you can do to stop that price. And by tanking the price like that, then everything else tanks along with it. eBay, TCG Player. Uh, that is what Wizard of Coast has done with Amazon. They have used Amazon as an outlet to sell. Amazon Prime Day is some of the best deals you will ever receive on any Magic products. They really are that good. They are below distribution by at least $10, sometimes $20, sometimes $30 for collector boxes. Sometimes they're below distribution $40. You, you cannot compete with Amazon because the price they are selling at is lower than the price any normal local game store is buying from their distributor at or even what Rudy is selling to you at. And that's why you have heavy bags. What does heavy bags mean? That means, oh, you have all this product you cannot move. You cannot cash flow the product. And when times were good and you're able to sell it to your patrons, even at a hundred dollars a month to give them the additional benefit of buying as much as they want. I tell you who else does a lot of dumps on magic. It's David Adams. The people who um, now own the 101 ring, they do massive dumps all the time where they're dumping boxes at 80, $75, not quite as good as the Amazon dump, but very close to it. And they do it more frequently. Um, they may have a special relationship with Wizard of the Coast that we don't know of. Again, they pull the one on one ring, so it does seem kind of strange, right? And they're a very, very big seller. I bought, I've always been buying from David Adams for probably over two, maybe a decade and a half. As soon as I found them, I just buy all my supplies via them. Very big company and they ship, uh, they ship pretty quickly. Now, I want to talk about the heavy bags and, and the psychology and the burden. So when you buy, you invest in something and you know it's a stock or a bond, you pretty much don't have to look at it every day. You log in, maybe you're curious, maybe you look at it. But when you invest in cards and it takes up a lot of closet space, you do have to look at it every day. Your significant other is going to say, why did you invest in this? It takes a lot of closet space. And as you get older, it's not even the heavy bag isn't just the money that you lost putting into it. It's the fact that you cannot sell it and at least free up the space. At the very least, you can sell it and free up that space, right? That would be um, at least a benefit to your wife or your significant other in terms of more room to put stuff in. A heavy bag is the worst place to be when you're buying, when you're, cause you're daily, every day, you're reminded of the failure of this investment. Every day, Rudy Chan goes to his basement, looks at all these boxes of Attack on Titan Weiss or MetaZoo, uh, all his Rudy promos, right? And he looks at it, I guarantee you, he's not thinking very positive thoughts. Um, or he looks at his Forgotten Realms, which he lost. Apparently, th this is a set that he has lost the most money on. But I could also say the same for New Compella, Neon Dynasty. When you're dropping these things at like 70, 80, I mean, there's nothing to be said. And I can only imagine how angry some of some of his patrons, some, most of them are going to understand that Rudy's a business and he did what was in his best business interest, right? Uh, he does make money from selling boxes to you. He does make money. It's not like you're paying $10 a month and he's gonna sell you at cost. No, he makes money on top. That's what a lot of people don't understand and he's mentioned it many times in his video is if he sells you a box for 85, he probably got the box for 80, 
you pay the $10 Patreon to cover the shipping, he's still he's gonna make his little cheddar, not a ton of cheddar, but he's gonna make a little cheddar on the side. So people buying boxes at 90, 95, they're gonna be very upset when they see the same box on Amazon for 70. You know, how could you not be? I mean, they were selling effing Strixhaven for 80. Strixhaven was a long time ago, and I don't think it was a bad set, in my personal opinion. I think it was a very cool set. It had the mystical archives or whatnot. It had a little bit of this demonic tutor's a beautiful card in that set. Yeah, um, the heavy bags are actually the, the most depressing part about having heavy bags, as somebody who has them, is the actual weight of the heavy bags. And that the fact that you have to go past your heavy bags every time you want to make a you know, every time I want to live stream, I just see a bunch of heavy bags behind me, and it's uh, it's savage. It is brutal. It is the definition of a brutality of like being just abused. Um, it is very very difficult to even uh, for me to even imagine um, the amount of heavy bags that Alpha Investment must have in the multiple games, including MetaZoo that he won't be able to move. He bought it at X, now it's Y, and Y is significantly less than X, how are you gonna move them? So the, 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 the worst part about have, having heavy bags is you see every single day, you know it's in your basement, you check on it, he makes videos where it's just, he's just surrounded by a pyramid of cards that many of them that he may not be ever, ever able to sell. He's been very angry against Magic the Gathering recently, and I don't know why he's not more angry against MetaZoo, maybe because his cost was very low for MetaZoo, and he has that partnership relationship, he has all those promo cards, but that's a game that has tanked beyond recognition. You know, people were talking about $10,000 for their version of Alpha Booster Box, and their Kickstarter version, 10,000, I think even more at one point in time, and now, you know, it sold for less than 3,000 eBay just a few days ago, or just a few, I don't know when it was posted, but the last sale was less than $3,000, and uh, it's not trending in the right direction for sure. So having heavy bags myself, I can tell you it's depressing as hell, and sometimes you just gotta throw it in storage and not look at it for a while. You know, it, it's not fun. It, it is not a fun thing to have. And it's not something that I would flex, you know, like because you much rather have the cash in your bank account than all these things that you're flexing. I do think that he his Patreon model is in trouble because Amazon has copied the exact model, but they do it way better. The sales are just significantly cheaper than anything anyone has out there. And even if you don't want an Amazon model, go to Dave and Adams. The reward tier model they have going on is actually pretty good. So anyway, that's kind of my my outlook on it. I, I do feel like, mm, I do feel sad for himself, but mostly for myself, I'm not gonna lie. I drank the Kool-Aid, I drank the Rudy Kool-Aid. I bought from a $100 a month Patreon. I bought all his collection. Um, I also bought um, from other people who were gonna sell to Rudy or who purchased from Rudy. And honestly, it's a nightmare. Like from room wise, it just takes up so much effing room that I wish I had back, but I do not have back and I just don't even know how to store it all. Uh, I'm waiting for my storage facility to open a new storage, at least on my floor, right? I, I mean, I, at least on my floor, but in my little area, right? So I'm just waiting for somebody, I guess, to like pass away. So like they, they like, you know, their storage becomes open and I can put my new cards in and otherwise they're just upstairs sitting there and I try to hide them in closets and stuff but I guarantee you they're not it's just an embarrassment honest to god it's an embarrassment that I bought so much uh, I can only imagine what Rudy Chan now again Rudy Chan pays pennies on a dollar for what I pay but it's also a cost of opportunity he could have sold them for a lot more at the time anyway bye guys